time for my stand-up guest, and this man is one of my favourite comics in the country. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jamali Maddy! <laughs> Everyone good? Yeah. Listen, I'm going to talk about COVID, and I know it's boring, but I've already wrote the jokes. <laughs> so I can't go back. Did you find COVID scary, bruv? No, no. Not really. Well, you're, you're, I found it terrifying. <laughs> Regardless of what he says, I found it terrifying. I found COVID so scary. And I didn't find COVID scary for the same reasons you found it scary, except him, but not them reasons. <laughs> I found it scary for different reasons. It wasn't like the death, it was like the human condition. Like, I found that so scary. It was the fact that we all just, like, got used to stuff that wasn't normal so quick. Because you couldn't do nothing, innit? Couldn't do nothing. Couldn't go work, couldn't go pub, couldn't go holiday, which white women lost their minds. Fuck <laughs> it. Well, we have found the white woman's weakness, bruv, and it is a holiday. <laughs> they went crazy, bruv. I was like, I need a holiday. I need it. <laughs> the crystals don't work, and I need it. <laughs> it's like... They started posting up old photos of their holidays, like, look, I was there, like a Vietnam vet. I was there. <laughs> Shit out, love. Shit <laughs> do nothing. And stuff just disappeared, didn't it? Stuff just went away. Stuff we all missed just went, just gone. Just, do you know what went away during COVID? And I kind of miss it, and it just went away, just, terrorism. But it just went away. <laughs> just, just no more terrorism, bro. We ain't had the terror attack in ages. What's going on? <laughs> That's how you know COVID's bad when even suicide bombers are like, no, I'm shielding. I'm shielding. <laughs> I'm staying in the house. <laughs> there'll, be, there'll be no Islam in the West this week, I tell you that much. And look, I'm not evil. Obviously, I'm not a monster, innit? Obviously, when I talk about missing terrorism, I talk about it from a nostalgic like, do you remember when terrorism was good? <laughs> Sorry, do, do, do you remember when... To, come on! Like, you remember when, like, Bin Laden made a mixtape? Like, do you remember that era of terror? Say what you want about Bin Laden. He was the original vlogger. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be in his cave like, West, I'm coming, bitch, and it was good! <laughs> it was exciting! The problem now is, like, terrorism shit, innit? That's the problem now, innit? Terrorism is... I'm not trying to give him advice, but if I was, step it up. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Because Bin Laden put some real work in, he hid out for a bit, you know what I mean? That was some dedication. The terrorists now, they made too many mistakes. That's the problem with the terrorists, they made too many mistakes. You know one of the big mistakes the terrorists made? This is the first mistake they made. I don't know if it's going to make any sense. Is it me or don't you think, like, the terrorists, like, it got to a point where, like, they kind of, like they, like, they did it too much? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, you're never going to beat your first album, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, 9-11 was your peak, everything <laughs> went a bit downhill. Too many mistakes. You know one of the other big mistakes the terrorists made? I think this was, like, their biggest mistake. I think this was the worst mistake the terrorists made, is that they attacked England. I think that was the worst mistake they made. Do you know what I mean? Because I'll be honest with you, I never felt British until terrorism. <laughs> That's, that was the first time I felt British. I was like, oh, I understand us. Do you know what I mean? Because the problem is ISIS don't get us. Do you know what I mean? Like, you can't attack us. Do you know what I mean? Go attack France, sacre bleu. Like, you can't, <laughs> you can't get us. Because, because the problem is, is like, what ISIS don't understand about England is, like, we don't care. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, we're more scared of inconvenience than we are a bomb, you know what I mean? Oh, my God, there was a terror attack. Oh, no, is the 86 running? Yeah, well, all right, no, stiff up a lip. We were more angry at the train strikes than we were at ISIS. Telling you, man. He's, I don't know. I just don't find terrorism scary. I think that's the problem. I just don't find it scary. Like I'm 31 and depressed. What do I? <laughs> what do I give a shit? Oh no, the sweet release. What the fuck I care? <laughs> do you know what's more scary than terrorism at 31? Life. That is more <laughs> scary. <laughs> just having to, just having to wake up every single day and go ah. Fuck, I'm me again. That's <laughs> scary. If ISIS really want to scare me at 31, you know what they got to do? They got to send a brown envelope to my house <laughs> that just says HMRC. That's, 
<laughs> That's scary. He's been looking at an envelope like, this could ruin my life. <laughs> anyway, my name's been Jamal. You've been great. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. In case you're the wonderful Jamal Imani!